Hi, this is Sandy Joe from rhinestonetemplates.com and um, I am a, a rhinestone designer and I make templates and transfers. And this is a, an instructional video to show you how to take a template um, that I've created or someone else has created and how to make a rhinestone transfer out of it. So I have a simple princess template and um, I'm just going to go ahead and put some beautiful pink, hot pink rhinestones in the, in the transfer and, or the template and just show you how easy it is. You just take and you dump as many rhinestones as you have and you just kind of work them down the line of the of the template and then go in a circular motion and just kind of swirl them around a little bit and they fall into the holes really, really nicely. If something doesn't fall into the hole really well, it's okay. You can come back and, and just take one or two of those stones out um, and put it in, you know, with a tweezer here when we're all done. But as you can see, the majority of them fall in really really nice and they fall the right side up. These rhinestones are weighted so they actually they do that and they fall in in the right way. So as you can see here I push my other rhinestones aside. I've got one here in the whole thing that is wrong side up. So I'll just go ahead with the tweezer and I'll just flip um, I'll just flip this little rhinestone right over here and then I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple more of my extra rhinestones and set them into place where it, they didn't get pushed in. So this is, the rhinestones are all done. If you were setting this by hand, it would take you a really long time to do. So at this point, then you grab your transfer tape. There are two pieces to it. And uh, there's a, a clear piece and there's a white piece of this, of this transfer tape. And what you want to do is you want to get rid of the white backer piece and end up with just the clear piece of the transfer tape, like so, it's just a clear piece. So you just take that and stick it down over the top of all your rhinestones and just take and press down lightly through your, with your fingers on your rhinestones here. Grab a corner and just start lifting up. If any of the rhinestones want to stick into place, you know, you can just go ahead and grab them later or go back and just push a little bit. If they're really resistant, whoops, there, got that one. If it's really resistant, just kind of wiggle it around a little bit and figure out where it is that wants it to come off. But you can see all of my stones are picking up. You know, I didn't have one stone that stayed in that template. That one was a little hard. I had to go back and get it. But you can see that all my stones are, are picked up. And uh, I can go ahead and just kind of give you a little visual here of what that looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and push my template out of the way and put my, my stones that now are um, faced upside down so the shiny side is down on my table. I've, this tape is really sticky so if you get your fingers on it you're going to have some issues so don't put your fingers too many times on it. But then you grab your backer piece again and just take your backer piece and put it over the top of the back side of the glue that you see on the rhinestones and push it down really really good and when you're all done you end up with your princess rhinestone transfer. And this is my hot pink um, new stone that I have. And these are a Chinese, a triple grade A Korean stone. But this is how easy it is to make rhinestone transfers. I'm going to do a lot of videos um, in the next few weeks and months here. So if you have any suggestions or questions of what you would like me to make for a video too, just send it to rhinestonetemplates at gmail.com. And... Uh, I'll go ahead and answer any of the questions or make the videos for you that you want. But this is how easy it is to make a rhinestone transfer.